Hello, this is Ruben from Crown Themes and in this video tutorial we will explore our newest theme, Borders. More than a theme, Borders is a comprehensive design system offering endless creativity for your online store. You can tailor almost every aspect, from layouts to colors to typography to sections, in order to match your brand's unique style. So let's dive into the theme. When you install the theme, this is what you see. A uh, basic homepage populated with uh, a lot of sections that you can start editing from. We will use our raw demo as a starting point for exploring the theme's settings. So when you edit the theme settings, you will notice there are a lot of panels here. Starting from the layout, you can choose a horizontal margin for the main container and also a vertical margin for the main container. This allows you to achieve a more boxed layout or if you want, you can reduce this to zero or you can work with different margins on mobile versus desktop if you check out this uh, little option or keep the margins on mobile of course these are responsive margins so they will change based on your uh, screen size uh, you can also have a centered layout this option can only be seen if you go outside the editor uh, in a larger window and you will see that the entire site and entire content area will be in the middle of the page. Going below, you have options to choose the inner padding for all grid items. Let's play with this a bit. So you can add a lot more padding this again is responsive and also change the border radius if you want rounded corners in uh, all the sections uh, that have uh, a background now you will see that the changes i've done here don't apply to all the elements they don't apply to the product grids because uh, we will go at this point later, the product grids can be individually edited. Now going to the borders uh, panel, you can see that you have a lot of options to play with borders and get really creative. You can choose border style and border width for the main uh, areas in your uh, in your store. Let's just hide this badge for now. Okay. So uh, you have main container borders which apply to the main container area. You then have primary borders which are used as dividers between inner elements. Okay. And then you have secondary borders which are actually the borders that are dividing the sections. You can visualize this better if you just play with the settings. So uh, right now I've set the primary border styles to dotted and if you can see in the video this changed and I've also set the border width to 10 pixels but it didn't change. Why didn't it change? Because the primary border width cannot exceed the secondary border width. This is because visually sections uh, are a bit more important. So if you want to use large borders for the primary borders, you need to use large borders for the secondary borders as well. If I set this to 20 pixels, for example, you can see that section borders are now uh, larger and primary borders, borders inside grids are also larger, right? One more setting here is the ability to add padding to the borders. So you can add horizontal padding and also vertical padding. 
achieving this kind of layout and you can also add this padding to the section borders like the secondary borders choosing between main content area which will add padding to all the borders inside the content area except the header you can see the header inherits the secondary border which is the section border but now it's full or if you want to add a, the same padding everywhere to the header as well you can select this option and the border of the header will have the same design now you also have uh, the models as a separate option you can disable the borders in models case in which the design will change a bit or you can keep them active of course you can disable all the borders in the entire store and have a really clean layout like this if it works in your case case in which you might want to keep the borders inside the drawers you might find that certain uh, options play well with other options for example if you add padding to vertical borders then sections that have a background like this will not work very well case in which you need to find a way how to set up all the options in the entire store the backgrounds the borders the paddings the margins in order to achieve your desired layout there are a lot of options in the theme but because there are a lot of options you need to take time to explore and play with the design in order to uh, achieve your uh, layout color schemes our theme works with uh, color schemes which is really great because uh, when you edit a scheme for example the first scheme this will edit everything all the colors in the store but then you can still uh, edit individual sections and when you work with color schemes it's much easier to change uh, all the colors if you want to change a single color for example in all your sections even if it's a custom color you can change it so in this case I've made everything blue but you can see that I have some uh, black sections these are using the third color scheme so if I want to change all the sections that are using the third color schemes I am just editing this okay it doesn't work maybe it's the sixth color scheme okay so now you can see that things start to change so you basically have uh, five different colors in each color scheme you have the background color which affects the background of the section as you can see here you have the borders color which affects only the borders between the elements and the section border of course you have the text color and then you have two different colors for accent and accent foreground these colors will be used either in buttons as you can see here or in uh, overs or in other areas that may require this kind of uh, coloring you can also choose a default color scheme now because the entire store works with sections this will be default at the first color scheme let's just go to any section for for a bit uh, rich blocks um, we will touch this later but you can see that in each section you have a section design area which uh, offers you the ability to change the color scheme if you change the color scheme here this start by default with uh, uh, scheme one so here the default color scheme doesn't refer to the color of all sections because if you change it you can see that nothing changes but it actually refers to other kind of pages which don't have a color scheme for example the blog or the let's see 404 page right or the cart page so these these pages 
don't have a color scheme setting, case in which you need a default color scheme that will apply to any page or section that doesn't have a color scheme setting. The other colors are the body background, which you should change to match the color of the most used section, right? Or to something neutral. Also, this is the color that appears if we have margins on the container, right? Because this is like the color that appears below your main content. And at the end, um, we have the color for the models drawers. So as you can see, you can change absolutely anything that you want, uh, all, actually almost anything that you want in the, in the theme in terms of colors, uh, really being able to achieve a unique design. Going further, we have typography. You have two font families in the theme, one for headings, one for body. Let's choose something really unique so we can see the differences. So right from the start, you can edit the base size, the theme being responsive, fonts change, font sizes change, but you can change the base size if you are using a font family that has a larger type or a smaller type. You can also change the font, uh, font line height and the letter spacing based on the needs of every font. The same for the body, body family. Now these will act more like primary and secondary font families because uh, you will see um, that you can add it um, and change the typography throughout the theme in a really nice way. For example, the next panel is section settings, section headings, sorry. This refers to all the section headings that you can set. And as you can see from the start, you can choose between a body font or a headings font. You can choose the text size, you can choose the line height, you can make the text bold, italic, you can play with the padding above, below. So you can see that everything is really versatile. So once you choose a font for headings and a font for body, you will be able to mix them a lot. Then you can change the page titles. These refer to these. Uh, titles which are automatically on all the pages, like on most pages which are using uh, regular regular content, regular templates. The same as you saw options for the section headings, you have almost the same set of options. So you can really edit a lot of things uh, in terms of typography. And you will see further down in this uh, tutorial that you are able to change typography even in individual sections. Going to buttons and forms, uh, you can choose between a few options for uh, roundness, border button size, and the ability to use uppercase labels for buttons. Now, product cards as uh, let me just refresh this because uh, it's a design mess now. So as uh, I said at the beginning, product cards uh, have a separate level of settings for, for their uh, design because you might want larger paddings or no paddings or uh, uh, various, uh, various design here. We have the products grid design further down. Let me just go here and then I'll get back up. You can choose to hide the borders only in product grid. You can choose to remove the inner padding and border radius if you want uh, some design like this. Or you can play with the border radius, remove just the border radius. 
you, you, you have these, uh, these options. Going above at the top, you can choose the media aspect ratio for your images. You need to choose something that suits all of your uh, images uh, nicely. Then you can choose the mouse over animation. You can be zoom in, zoom out, repetition. We have two styles for this uh, unique effect. And also the ability to show the second product media on mouse over, right? This works regardless of the mouse over animation that you're using. You can add a uh, overlay over all the media with whatever opacity you can want, even hide the entire uh, <laughs> grid if that this makes sense. Then you can choose the placement of the text caption and the text size and also whether it's bold or uppercase. One nice feature is the quick buy button in which we've uh, added a lot of effort making it right. You can add it, you can add products to the cart directly from the product grids with this little button, which will create this kind of uh, quick buy pop-up directly in the thumbnail, even for mobile devices like this. If the product has variants, if the product doesn't have variants, the product will be added to the cart automatically. You can change the background color, the text color of uh, both the icon and the content. Uh, it will be the color that you set here. You can change the position of the button and you can change the variant style and whether you want to show the quantity selector or not. Below, you can add product rating which will display here in the left corner. Uh, but for this, you need to use a third party app to collect reviews. Uh, we have support for some, uh, some popular apps here um, that will show up badges in the, in the product reads, but this is a complete uh, different uh, and standalone functionality that doesn't come in the team, doesn't come in anything. And you have the product badges, which can be shown or uh, hidden. You can choose their uh, position, colors, type of uh, discount badges, and also add some new badges uh, based on tags, about which you can read more in our online documentation. Lastly, color swatches. You might have noticed that color swatches are added in the theme. These uh, utilize the color names or custom images uh, about which you can read more by clicking this link. I just wanted to address this setting. Um, we have support for color swatches. So because color swatches work by product option names, you need to set the name of the option here. So we have support for, um, for some default ones in a few languages like color, color, color. Um, but if your option names are named differently and still want to display swatches, you need to write your option name here. The icon, cart, um, you can choose where it you'd want to be a drawer that opens in the side or a page which will always direct users to the cart page. The aspect ratio of the images displayed both in the cart and in other areas such as the search sidebar. Whether to you want to show free shipping minimum amount and select a product for gift wrapping. This product will be added at the end of your cart. Okay, here you can see it. And if it, this is checked, the product whoa, whoa, I moved too fast. will be added at the top with no options to remove it unless you hit the checkbox again.
You can enable card notes and show additional checkout buttons. Please note that the additional checkout buttons will not appear in the drawer card when you refresh the card. This is a limitation in Shopify in all in the platform. So you get the same in all the themes. You cannot go uh, beyond this. Towards the end, we have animations panel. Here we can control the image loading visuals. It can be a solid color. Yeah, this refers to what happens below the images in your store or none if you want the blank uh, option, but this might give you some gaps like you see here until the image loads. You have the ability to change the of mouse over animation over other items than the product grid. For example, in this uh, section where we have rich media blocks that are links, this will have the animation that you set here. You can play with the mouse over effects, whether it's italic, underline, taking the line from the text color, or highlight, which works as a marker with the accent color. And you can change the card over effect. You also already saw that a lot of cards turn into black when I hover, that's because of this effect, yeah, so. And then show arrow on hover. So as, as you see, not all, not all the options have effect to all the sections or all the blocks, but you can explore and see which does what, and then uh, just edit your theme to recreate your vision. Last thing is scrolling effects. We have two options, add subtle zoom to images. Now, I'm not sure if you see this in the, in the video, but this makes all the images zoom out as you scroll, as they come into view, as you scroll them into view. Also, the other effect is animate specific sections into view. This is a different one, which makes the items go a bit down until they make this animation that goes in everything uh, grows. Yeah. So we can work with both or just one. In the SEO, you have the ability to show the bread breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs appear here or here in product pages. Now you have the ability to improve product breadcrumb navigation, which will make uh, the products have the collection in the navigation. If this is disabled, products will just go back, fall back to collections. Social data, and then the checkout, which is uh, completely managed by Shopify. And with this, we've covered the theme settings. Now, before we start with the actual sections, I want to cover some theme settings that you will find in all, actually almost all the, the sections. So one will be the section design. As I've said earlier, this theme gives you the ability to change the color scheme once you've set it for different uh, different sections. And some sections have two, two options, one for the entire section design, one for the inner content design, uh, which was the case here. Um, let's go to a rich media block section because that's the most versatile, rich blocks, sorry, rich blocks. So as you can see here, you can edit the color scheme of the, of the section. You can hide the section button border. So uh, for this to be seen, let's give the theme some larger borders. So for example, now you see the border here. Now you don't see it. This works well when playing with uh, 
full backgrounds. You can also change the borders, hide them in the intersection design. You can remove the border radius, as you see, this is removed, or you can remove both the inner border and border radius, and if you hide the borders, you will get something like this, okay? Now, a lot of sections have the inner design content here, or they have a color scheme for the inner content. In this case, it's the second color scheme, which will affect the, the text, the accent, so we are using color schemes in some areas for just the text, in others just for buttons, in others also for backgrounds. But the idea is that you can change these colors and really be able to do whatever you want in all the sections that you, that you have. That's about it with the, with the colors. Something else that is available in all sections is this section heading that you already saw me editing previously in terms of typography. Now here you can write it, remove it, and change the heading tag, whether h1, h2, h3, or h4. This is for SEO purposes. You can structure your source content as you, as you wish. And then you can hide the heading border, which will not show it here. And some sections will also have a section footer where you can write a label for a button and then make it, uh, make it a link, like a call to action section. Okay, so these are a few of the general settings. Okay, let's get started about uh, sections. Top to bottom, you have a few section groups. You have the sec header group, which controls whatever appears at the top of your header in all the sections, in all the pages, sorry. Then you have the drawers group, which doesn't take any sections, just gives you the ability to configure your navigation, your cart, your search. You then have the template, which affects the template that you're on, whether it's homepage, product page, or whatever. And then at the end, you have footer group, which affects what you see in all the pages and the footer after the template. This is, again, something that is common to all the pages. And then the overlay group, again, with a few sections um, that appear over the entire content. So let's go at the top. You can see that the header supports an announcement bar, scrolling text, and of course the, the header. These sections also have the, give you the ability to change the color scheme, hide the section border. One note, these sections will inherit the secondary border unless you, you remove it, of course. Something nice that you will notice is that both the announcement bar and the scrolling text have this visibility option. So you can configure it in a few ways. For example, make the announcement bar show on the homepage only and disappear on other pages or show on all pages except the home page. The same it goes for the scrolling text, which you can see if we go on the product page into demo, you can see this scrolling text. This is because we've set it to work only on the product pages. So you can play a bit with the functionality of uh, these, these sections in order to make announcements for your users based on the page they are on. Now let's focus just on the header. This theme has a really, really complex header. You have the ability to add a desktop logo image, set its maximum height, add a mobile logo image, set a maximum height. Also choose whether you want to align it on the center. Uh, more on this later. Actually, let's go down to the layout. You have the desktop layout, which can be either one row or two rows. 
you can have the desktop minimal uh, style which can be either classic or minimal now minimal doesn't work with two rows minimal needs one row to work you can choose the alignment between left or center of course for right to left languages everything is switched so right becomes left and vice versa when it is on the center on mobile devices you will notice that it's completely centered now if your logo is longer and you don't want this effect you can uncheck this option which will center the logo in the area that remains for it going back to desktop as you saw you can edit the menu in a lot of ways you can change the display of the buttons some buttons as a search shopping cart yeah you can change the menu the buttons layout between compact and regular this is seen better with uh, the icons compact gives you more space and you can keep the header padding static this is an interesting option which works in a few well it which works well in a few scenarios for example when you add padding to vertical borders everywhere you will see that these are aligned here now if in the layout i have a really big inner padding you might get this displacement which could work well if these were regular okay but if you don't want to keep the padding static you will hit this button case in which buttons will be aligned with the border again there are a lot of options here so you just need to edit them edit something go back see if it worked for your case if not go back and re-edit so just see whatever works the best in your case we're going down to the menu we, you have the ability to change the content here so the menu uh, you set it here the, uh, the menu that you set in the shopify backend and then you can change its layout above uh, below sorry when where it says menu design you can choose the text small regular large text weight and then the sub menu design this can be either two columns large text which can be seen here four columns small text which works like this and then because here you have the secondary level this is the secondary level and this is the third level you can emphasize either the first level of the menu right so first level or the second level as it was here depending on how you create how you where you give importance and then add the text weight to whatever is larger right so again this is something which you really need to play test uh, see whatever works well for your scenario let's tackle the promotion blocks because you can see them here so the promotion blocks are added with the block to add a promotion block you need to add it as a block here uh, so first thing you need to write a menu handle in which you add the promotion block inside so for example here it's shop if i write shop and open this uh, no promotions will appear because I haven't checked this but if I check it oh sorry I've changed the page if I check it you will see the promotion here you can edit the text you can edit uh, the button you can add an image again the layout will change whether you have one promotion or two promotions so everything is uh, is dynamic one thing about promotion blocks they need to be in a menu that has some menus for example if I write news here and want the promotion to appear in the news menu it doesn't appear because the news doesn't have any sub levels so it only works in items with sub items 
Towards the bottom, we have the content. You can show the search, you can show the cart, you can show the account. Account needs to be configured separately in the customer settings. You can show region selectors, language selectors, if these are available. So if these are not available, these will not appear. So you can really make your menu simple, plain like this. Without a cart, you can really use this theme for a portfolio website. And the section which you already saw everywhere, it's the section design. Now, you already saw that on mobile, we have the classic menu in use. And this is also an option on desktop. So how do you configure the content here? Going to the drawers group. Going to the drawers group, the first one that you see is the navigation drawer. Now, this is an interesting element which allows you to create a completely separate menu desktop versus mobile or just configure your drawer menu if this is the only option that you have in a nice way. When you start, you start with a simple one menu, but you can create more menus as you as you work your way through the through the theme. So, for example, if I remove this, you will see only one menu, a small menu, which can have a different text size, uh, whether you want it bold or not, a menu title, and then you can choose if you want the menu to be smaller than the, the menu title, if you want to be smaller than the actual menu or larger, you can have everything as the same, uh, size and even play with the height weights so in our example you can uh, in our demo you can see that we've added two different menus for collections in which uh, the text is bold the title is regular because there is more importance to the actual content here and then uh, the regular menu at the bottom you have the ability to add a promotion here as well and Again, you can change if you want to show the account link, which will appear as a simple menu item, and add country selector, region selector at the bottom, and uh, social links or just menus. So this gives you complete control over how the menu looks. Then we have the card drawer. The card drawer um, only has the option to for you to change if you want to show only the view cart button or the checkout button and to add an individual product promotion which will appear here when the cart is not empty and the search drawer which gives you the possibility of adding a menu with feature links otherwise it's just blank everything's appear here but if you add a menu you will see it here this menu will not show drop down items because it's just one menu. Okay, let's jump to the overlay group, which is the very last section because we see this rotating badge constantly in front of us. The rotating badge is a section which allows for a few blocks in which you can edit the text. Uh, let's say you want to write free shipping and then set the badge size based on the maximum number of characters. Whatever you write will of course be truncated here if you write more than the maximum number of characters. Then you can select an icon or add a custom icon which can even be an image if you want. Going to the design you can uh, select the border type, whether single, double, or none. You can change the color scheme. You can change the badges scale, if you want to make it smaller. The text scale, if you want to make the text larger. And play with the character spacing. And the rotation speed. You can change the position. Show it in whatever place you want. Right, and also change the visibility 
you can add the badge only to the home page, only to product pages only, or on all pages except the home page, and you can even hide it on mobile devices if you feel that it takes too much space. So yes, you can add uh, a few rotating pages in separate parts of your uh, store, in uh, separate parts of uh, your pages. Then if we go past the rotating badges, you can see uh, actually here at the top, you can see the newsletter. This is the newsletter pop-up, which you can use to subscribe users to your uh, use letter list. You can change the image, uh, select how fast you want the pop-up to appear select its frequency this refers to the frequency in which it appears to your users before they hit the close button because when a user hits the close button he will not see the pop-up again in this selected time so pop-up frequency if it's show each week and the user closes it he will not see it again you can change the color scheme again for a week sorry hide borders outer borders. Then we have the popovers, which is a separate section that allows you to add various popovers like the cookie popover. This doesn't have any setting. It just works based on your Shopify admin settings. If you set them to collect cookies after consent, this will appear if it's added as a block in the popover section. You can read more about this in our online documentation. Then you have other kind of popovers, the text popovers, which again can be showed on homepage only, product pages, um, cart, uh, so you can include various discounts. Uh, make call to actions you can change the color scheme how fast the pop-up appears in seconds and the pop-up frequency there are more sections here like the go to top button which okay here here it is you can change its design this will appear after you scroll a bit and will get users back to the top of the page and the age verification which gives you the ability to block the content on your store maybe add a background image to it change the label and the text and everything the footer group contains whatever is in the footer of all your pages and it allows you to put all the sections, almost all the sections that, uh, actually I think that all the sections are available here, that are available anywhere else. Uh, and some uh, special, two special f sections that are added from the start are the actual footer, which has content added with blocks, various blocks, and the copyright bar, which appears at the bottom but of course you can either remove the footer keep on the copyright bar you can change the color bar schemes and so on so this is it with the section groups let's uh, start a rundown of uh, the most important sections the more complex sections of the store of the theme we will start with the top section, which is the vertical slider section, a really nice section which allows you to have large media with text over it. You can choose the desktop aspect ratio based on Im your images. Try to upload images that have the same aspect ratio. So if you choose a square here, upload square images. If you choose ultra wide images, upload ultra wide images in order to make sure that the images will look nicely and uh, sharp on each screen. You can also change the mobile aspect ratio because obviously ultra wide images might not work on mobile. But again, 
make sure that you upload mobile images for the for the aspect ratio that you set here. So for example, in this case, I have ultra wide images with this aspect ratio and taller images with this aspect ratio. In each slide, make sure that you add two images, one for the desktop, one for mobile. This will ensure that your images will be really sharp in any device your users see them. You can change the media shape We have a few options for media shapes. You can add borders to media, which will not work as written here with media shapes. Then you have options for typography. You have options for the text container width, which will only be visible if I write along text here. Okay. You can change the text spacing. This refers to the spacing between the elements, inner elements. Please note that the focus of the section is the image and the aspect ratio that you write here. So that you set here. So if you have a lot of text, you might want to use a larger aspect ratio that will accommodate your text. Otherwise your text will be hidden. Then you can change the padding of the of where your text appears. This is useful, especially if you start uh, removing border radius and inner padding and uh, make your section something closer to full width section. You can uh, then see that the vertical side section has animation like parallax and also subtle zoom. You can uh, disable both here and you can change the color scheme as already seen in other areas. Then you can play with the typography. This is something that I said earlier that you will get the option to change the typography in almost all the sections. You can change the title style, you can change the subtitle style, you can change the fonts, the size, the line height, you can change the button size, the button style, sorry, arrow accent and the button size. So you really, you have a lot of options. Each section gives you a, a lot of control over how you want it to look. You can add uh, images or videos. You can add a media overlay, which will appear above these little places, or you can completely hide the media and choose a color scheme for the text, which really makes a great effect. If you just want to have simple, solid background blocks, you can change the text blending mode. Let me show you how this looks. Let's go back to the media. And if I change the blending mode, you can see that it appears differently here. This is exclusion. This is lighter. This is difference or color dodge, which gives you a different effect. These are options that can be changed per individual slide. And of course, SEO options, vertical slider might be a section that you want it to be used as an introductory section. So you can make the title tag H1 or the subtitle tag H2 or whatever you, whatever you want. Another really useful and complex section is the rich blocks section, which allows you to have a grid of various media blocks, whether they are images or uh, even videos. We have this option as well, where you can 
change the layout, the desktop layout, the mobile layout, whether you want a grid or a slider, change the aspect ratio. Again, you need to make sure that you upload images that are that have this aspect ratio. Now, something different that you will notice in this section, in this section only, is that the label here is minimum aspect ratio because you can add a lot of text in the text content. Let's just add some random text. And you will see that the aspect ratio of the entire row will change, okay? Because I want to see the full text here. So the focus here is also on the text. Uh, and here you can write as many text as you want because it will appear nicely. Um, typography, the same options. You can choose where your text will appear, the text container with the button style and the section, the section footer. Um, things about inner content design. I think that we've reached these earlier. So going inside each individual block, you have the ability to change the image, change the video, apply media overlay, change the media shape, add borders around the media, or even hide the media again and only work with text. Where? Okay, you can see the text here at the button label, choose different CEO tags. So if you take a look in our online demos, you can see how we've used rich blocks in certain areas. So we already saw this area with rich blocks. Then in the black uh, demo, you can see that we've used rich blocks for something like popular categories where we've hidden the media and only used a color scheme. Now in cases like this, uh, you set the minimum aspect ratio, which can be different and you will get something like a grid with uh, blocks. And in the objects demo, you can see that we've used rich blocks to have something like featured products in a grid. And we've also used rich blocks for one column landscape sections as you can see here for a video background for example so these are only a few areas uh, which we've uh, tackled you can really use the rich blocks in any way you want just uh, start with the section experiment add blocks change the layout change the aspect ratios hide the media add videos add images play with the typography and uh, you can see that everything will start appearing really, really nicely for you. Another really complex section that is very versatile is the rich text section. And uh, for this one, I will go directly into our online demos because it's more visible here. So it starts like this with text and blocks uh, for text, buttons and empty space uh, in order for you to design it as you wish. The text is really complex. This is a rich text which can either be body or headings. You can change the size, you can change the line height, you can change the CEO tag. You can see here an example of for each text section without any, any media, just a typography which is set to appear uh, here uh, with content padding, text spacing, text container width and the color scheme. One color scheme is for the bounding area. Okay, so for this area, which makes sense if there is padding. If we remove padding, we don't see that part anymore. And the other color scheme is for the inner content. Now, if we go to another example, we can see that this section also supports images 
or videos and here we choose the media aspect ratio we choose the media position on desktop and we choose the media position on mobile we can hide it if we want now you will see that this is on the right side or on the left side now the text alignment typography option makes sense because it is aligned based on the image we can add a line between the text and the image and we can do different things for example overlap media content on desktop case in which the media will be absolutely positioned below the text so we can do something like this or you can fill the entire height of the media right in this case we should remove the media shape and also the board radius so as you can how do we remove the border radius and in this case the media will be based on the text size not on the aspect ratio that i set here again you can see in our other demos the black demo how we're using rich text here with an image on the right with two different color schemes without borders with two lines of text one is headings font one is body font with different size so really you can edit this in a lot of in a lot of ways here we have this type of block without borders without border radius where everything falls into a big background or here used as a book review or it can be a featured product uh, type of section again if you see here the media fills the entire area you if you match the background colors of your images with the background colors of the sections you can really create some really awesome uh, awesome layouts you can do stuff like this uh, and in the border subjects again we have rich text simple rich text without any any media uh, we even use this for the story pages actually in here now here we're using rich uh, blocks and some uh, text column but in but in the raw borders we are using rich text with images above the text where you can set the landscape uh, aspect ratio with text below like you would be in a regular page but rich page you can see you can use different uh, SEO tags and text sizes uh, play with body font heading font so you can really create a page from scratch just using uh, this highly versatile section so these three are the most uh, important and uh, versatile and customizable sections of uh, our theme of course we have all kinds of other useful sections for example um, this crazy section for rotating images um, this uh, text columns with icons are really useful um, the section which uh, can allow you to create even some grids of uh, of text because you have the ability to change the layout between the slider between the grid change the title styles body or headings change the text size change the caption size again body or heading so as i said at the beginning when you choose uh, headings and the body font you are choosing more likely a primary and a secondary font which you can mix uh, in a lot of places of course the body font will still be used for a lot of body areas which don't offer uh, customization options but uh, you can still change it in a lot of places we have the email sign up ability to add a basic image testimonials section which also has a few design a few different design options uh, the ability to, to, to truncate the testimonials again change the text uh, font family and font style 
a classic shop dialog section with an image that will fill the screen on the left or right and uh, various products here featured collection that can be either a slider or a grid where you can change the desktop layout up to two columns on desktop and one column on mobile devices the collection list which is another interesting section scrolling text with a lot of options for typography and uh, the ability to add text or buttons inside it and of course uh, other sections that you can uh, explore I want to talk just a bit about certain uh, page template specific sections for example uh, we have the collection page here which you can edit you can show the collection description show the collection image if there is an image here you can change the banner height you can change the text color that will be on the on the banner enable filtering enable sorting and choose whether the filters are sidebar or uh, or a list everything uh, changes the design everything uh, affects the design in a way or another one nice feature is the promo card which you can add one or more uh, for promotions this will appear in your search results you can uh, put the position where you want it to appear you can choose to show only on the first page on hide on mobile devices uh, change the design add some text play with the text alignment add a button really use it however you want either for promoting something or for demoing something in your collection you also have the collection navigation uh, section which will show you links to previous or next collections and another section that is available only here is the collection description which uh, will appear in case you don't want for example you have long descriptions and don't want them to show here at the top but you want them to show somewhere else at the bottom now it doesn't appear in our case here because this collection doesn't have any description so you will not be able to be able to see it the other important section uh, page template section is the product page section which is like the most important section of your entire store uh, you have the ability to change the product page change for example the layouts of the gallery to one column the column change the the stop media width of the gallery like where wherever you want to give emphasis either on the image size or on the product size you can change the media aspect ratio you can choose something that is really close to your images whether it's square or tall images you can edit the media shapes of all the images add borders to media which don't work unless you don't use any media shapes remove the border radius remove inner padding and border radius so we can have something like this add effect to parallax effect to product sliders this only refers to sliders you can see this nice parallax effect which can be disabled image zoom enable or disable video looping then you can choose to hide the border between gallery and content this affects this little border on the on the size or hide the border between blocks if you feel that there are too too many borders in your in your page this is about the settings of the mostly the gallery and some style settings here you can change the section design if you want the product pages to have a different design than the rest of the sections in the page and you can choose the first available variant to be unselected if you want to force your users to select 
a certain uh, a certain variant before the product can be added to the cart right so it works like this then all the information inside the product page is added with blocks you have blocks for vendor for title again those nice typography options that allow you to change the typography of the product pages some icons list or labels as you see here just labels or labels with icons if this is what you're after the description which doesn't appear here because this product doesn't have any description um, the variants you want to showcase size guides uh, in your variants you need to select here the option names for so for example in this case the option name is size if i wouldn't write anything here the size guides will disappear if i write size it appears and here i can select the page that i want to be this used for the size guide it can be a pop-up that appears in the page or the same window or a new window other blocks as tax information tabs product rating pickup availability product pages complementary products are available so you can really configure the product page as as you as you like going to the blog we have the main blog template which gives you some level of customization over the over the blog page and then we have the blog posts which uh, edit the articles in your store in this certain blog you can play with the information that you want to show you can choose the uh, image how you want to show it how you want to align it how you want the media shape to be play with the text alignment uh, and again play with the font of uh, of the text content you can put comments using Shopify's uh, comments engine and article uh, navigation. And with this, we come to an end. As you saw in this uh, short presentation, there are a lot of options available in our borders team. The best way to check them all is just take each section, explore all of its option, uh, just click on every button, every checkbox that you see uh, in order to understand how you can edit the theme, how you can transform the layout and how you can create your uh, dream store using our borders theme. Good luck with everything.